Hi everyone! In this next episode of our Outfit Studio tutorial series, we are going to continue with our theme of working with parts of meshes. We're going to get more practice separating out vertices, but in contrast to what we've done before, this time we will be turning these separated vertices into their own new mesh. Here's what we will be doing in this video. I will be assuming that you've completed most of the tutorials up to this point, or that you already have a basic knowledge of how to use Outfit Studio. If the pace is too fast, or if you are unfamiliar with the basics, please refer back to previous videos and practice a bit more until you are ready to tackle this one. If you want to follow along, download and install the Simply for Practice mod that I made as a companion to this tutorial series. The link is in the description. As in the last video, I'm going to start with the why. Why would we want or need to separate vertices out into their own mesh? Well, there are three main reasons that I want to highlight. First, you want to only use part of a mesh, like in our mashup video. Second, you want to assign different texture properties to different parts of the mesh. And third, when you can't use masking to hide part of the mesh from a function. You may think of other good reasons for separating out vertices into their own mesh, but these are the three that we're going to cover today. The process of selecting vertices for separation is exactly the same as selecting them for deletion. And unfortunately, how easy or hard that is depends on how the mesh was set up. If the part you want to separate has vertices that clearly delineate its borders, then it will be easy, either using the A and D Smart Select keys, or just manually selecting the vertices up to the delineation point. But if the part you want to separate is not clearly delineated, then you'll have to apply the same workarounds that I mentioned in the last video. As a reminder, there are two workarounds that I know of. The first method involves a combination of separating vertices and then tweaking the texture file to make unwanted parts transparent. And the second method involves splitting edges on the 3D mesh to create new vertices. Both methods are more advanced, so I will not be covering them right now. If you are feeling brave and want to try splitting edges, I'll put a link in the description to the Body Slide Wiki page that describes how to do this. As I mentioned earlier in the video, sometimes you want to separate a part of the mesh from the rest of it, but not actually delete it. Say, for example, you want to use that part in a mashup or create a new standalone item from it. For this tutorial, we are going to keep it simple and work with a mesh that is easily separated. And apologies for being repetitive, we are going to separate out the pouches from the male and female Archmage outfits again. But this time, instead of deleting them like we've done previously, we're going to turn them into new standalone NIFs. This is to prepare for a future video where we will add them into the game as new items. If you followed along with me doing the BAE extraction in video number four, then you are ready to go. If you did not and you want to follow along with this video, please pause here and extract both sizes of the male and female vanilla Archmage robes as shown in the mesh extraction tutorial. Once you have those meshes, load the original size zero female robe into Outfit Studio. Mask only the pouches as we've done several times before. Then it's a simple matter of going up here to shape, selecting separate vertices and typing a name into the box. I'm going to call this pouches F underscore zero. Note that you don't invert the mask first to do this. The vertices that are red are the ones that will become the new mesh. <laughs> yes, this seems backwards to me too, but it is what it is. Now we're just going to export the new mesh as a standalone NIF. I'm going to export it to the other folder in the demo mod, and I'm going to give it the same name as the mesh itself. 
pouches F underscore zero. Done, and it was easy peasy for this example. Clear out these meshes by unloading the project and then do exactly the same thing for the size one female pouches. We mask them first, then we separate vertices, give the new mesh a name, and then export the new mesh as a standalone NIF. Now repeat for both sizes of the male pouches and include the shoulder bag too. The bag is a little more complicated to select all of the vertices, so I'm going to use the saved mask method again just to be sure I get all the same vertices for both the size zero and size one meshes. Note that male and female meshes often do not have the same vertices, so you usually cannot mix your saved masks across the sexes. You can try and maybe get lucky, but don't assume that it will work. Once you have separated out the four pouch meshes, you can clear the project from Outfit Studio. We'll come back to these pouches in a later video. For now, just leave them here in the demo mod. Another good reason to separate vertices is when you want to change something about the texture for one part of the mesh, but not the rest of it. As I explained in video number 11, you can't use different texture files or shader properties for different parts of the same mesh. For example, in the vanilla gemmed amulet, everything is one mesh with one texture. And so all the shader properties have to be the same for both the metal part and the gem part. But what if we want to make the gems reflect a different color than the metal or make them glow in the dark? We can do that by separating the gems into their own mesh and then giving them their own unique texture properties. We are going to do this separation differently because of how the amulet mesh was set up. First, load it into Outfit Studio from the Demo Mod's other folder. You can use either the shortened version that we made in video number 17, or you can use the original depending on which of the previous projects you have completed. In this example, we have some shared vertices that make separating things more complicated. We can't just choose these gem vertices and separate them because using the wireframe view, you can see that the vertices making up the outer rim of the gem are also needed to make the triangles of the metal setting. So we are first going to duplicate the amulet mesh, go to shape, duplicate, and give the duplicated mesh a new name. I'm going to use the name gems and you'll see why as we continue. Note that we can only duplicate meshes, not selected vertices, which is why we're doing this step first. Next, on the duplicated mesh, mask only the vertices of the gems. Then delete the rest of the amulet so that only the gems are left. Back on the original mesh, we need to get rid of the gems. And this is as easy as deleting the single vertex in the middle of each one. To be sure we are precise, let's use the main pointer tool for this. And let's turn it to wireframe so we can be sure we don't accidentally select any vertices on the back of the amulet by mistake. Hold down control and click on each of these three single vertices so they turn red. Once you've done that, invert the mask and delete them. Voila! We've got our gems separated from the rest of the amulet. Now select both meshes and export as a new amulet NIF. For this demo, I'm going to put this back into the other folder and call it sep gem amulet F underscore zero. After exporting, clear these meshes from Outfit Studio and follow the same process in exactly the same order for the size one version of the NIF. First, we duplicate the entire mesh. Then we isolate only the gems on the duplicated copy 
by masking them and deleting the rest of the vertices. And finally, we delete the single apex vertex from each gem on the original mesh. Once that's done, select both meshes and export as a new NIF. Like I did for the size zero version, I'm going to put this in the other folder and call it SEP Gems Amulet F underscore one. As with the other NIFs we've been making, we will come back to this amulet in a future video. So for now, you can just unload the project to clear Outfit Studio and leave these new NIFs waiting for us here in the demo mod. The last reason I've highlighted for separating vertices into their own mesh is when you don't want them to get distorted while you are adjusting the rest of the mesh. For many functions, we can use the masking tool to achieve this. However, you cannot mask vertices from all functions, such as applying a slider to the mesh. In cases like this, you may want to separate part of the outfit mesh off onto its own. For example, if you have a geometric shape like a perfect circle or a perfect square, it will almost certainly get messed up when you apply a body size or body type conversion slider. So you can work around this problem by separating those vertices into their own mesh. Then slide only the meshes you want and merge the separated ones back in when you are done. For now, I'm only explaining this process to you we're going to wait until the next video to actually do a separate then remerge example because it fits better with our next topic, which is merging meshes. All right, we completed several examples of separating vertices off to their own meshes, and now we're going to check them in NIF scope to make sure they look okay. Refer back to video number six if you need any help with this step. First, open both the female Archmage pouches and have a look. Check that their vertex and triangle counts are identical. Then do the same for the male Archmage pouches. And finally, open both sizes of the gemmed amulet. Check that the mesh order is the same in both sizes, and also check the vertex and triangle count for both of the meshes. If any of the meshes in any of the NIFs we made do not match perfectly, you will need to redo them. Leaving them mismatched will give you problems with weight sliding in the game. When you are finished, close out all the NIF scope windows. We are done working with these NIFs for now. If you've picked up on the new trend, you shouldn't be too surprised that we are calling it a day here. We will continue working with these NIFs in upcoming videos. They will be our ongoing examples to practice techniques and review concepts. For now, if you are following along, please make sure that they look good and have matching vertex counts as I noted in the last step. Then you can just leave them in the demo mod where we saved them. Thanks for watching and I hope working along with me to get hands-on practice with these examples. In the next video, we're going to talk about merging meshes. So I'll see you again soon for that. Bye.